Hi, in this video we are going to solve an inequality using what's called the test point method. Okay, test point method. So this is a procedure you can use for solving uh, inequalities. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. Okay, so the test point method basically says that the first step is to have a single term on one side and zero on the other. So we're already there. We have x plus 2 over x minus 2 greater than zero. Right? We have a single term here and then here we have zero. The next step in the test point method is to set the numerator and denominator equal to zero. Okay, so this is not an algebraic step. Okay, I want to emphasize that. This is because we're following a procedure. We're using what's called the test point method. So this is step one. Step two is to set each of the numerator and denominator equal to zero. We solve each of these simple equations. So we get x equals negative two and we get x equals two. Step three is to plot these on a number line and pick test points. So here's our number line. So this is going to be negative two. This is going to be two. And so what you want to do now is you want to pick test points and you want to plug them in to the original inequality, which is this one. If it's true, you shade. If it's not true, you don't shade. All right, so we're going to pick any number less than negative two. How about negative three? So let's check negative three. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the negative three here where the x is, so it'll be negative three plus two over negative three minus two. That's equal to negative one over negative five, which is equal to one over five, which is positive. That's true, so we shade, right? Because it's greater than zero, it's true, right? Let's check zero. Checking zero, we take the zero, we plug it into the original. So we get zero plus two over zero minus two so it's 2 over minus 2, so it's minus 1. Is that greater than 0? No, it's not. So we don't shade. You only shade when it's true. And last but not least, it's check 3. And you can pick any number, right? You can pick any number in each sub-interval. So here I picked negative 3. I could have picked negative 1 million, right? Here I could have picked 0 0.01. I chose 0 because it's easier. Here we'll pick 3 because it's easy. So 3 plus 2, and then 3 minus 2. It's 5 over 1. Is that greater than 0? Yes, it is. Right, so we shade. I didn't write yes here, maybe I should. So yes, it's true, so you shade. If it's not true, you don't shade. So shade, don't shade, shade. So the answer is gonna be with parentheses because we're not uh, allowing for equality. Whenever we do, we use brackets, but because it's a strict inequality, a greater than, we use parentheses. So from the picture, we can get the answer. It's gonna be negative infinity to negative two, union two to infinity. And that would be the solution to this inequality. I hope it's been helpful and you've learned some math. Take care.